Number 47, letter A. What is the focal length of a magnifying glass that produces a magnification of three when held five centimeters from an object, such as a rare coin? All right, so here I have a certain object. Um, the object uh, distance they told us was five centimeters. All right, you can leave it in terms of meters. It probably doesn't really matter. Uh, excuse me, leave it in terms of centimeters or you can convert it into meters. It probably uh, doesn't matter. Just be careful, you know, with what you're calculating them. Um, and they also tell us then the magnification is three. So I know just from knowing the object distance, the magnification, looking at the formula over here, I can calculate the image distance. So why don't we do that first? So it's negative di over do is equal to magnification. So if I want to find the image, right, distance, then I'm going to just cross multiply this, bring the negative sign on over, and bada bing, bada boom, there you go. All right. So now just simply plug in the values, magnification of three, object distance of five centimeters. Careful, you're going to get out centimeters. So this works out. I, I went to the calculator, then I looked at it. I'm like, uh, yeah, if I need to calculate for this one, I'm in trouble. Um, so this is negative 15 centimeters, all right? Negative 15 centimeters. So what this means, the negative sign here, okay, uh, is going to now tell us that the image is now on the same side as the object. All right, that's the whole point, by the way, of a magnifying glass, all right? So you might have seen a problem similar to this before. So the image distance now is going to be all the way 15 centimeters away, right? This was five centimeters, and this is gonna be three times that length. So I'm gonna just, why don't we just extend this black line? Okay, I'll extend the red line, so it's gonna be three times larger. So does that look about right to you? That's cool. Right. I'm going to draw it bigger because, again, the whole point of the, the magnifying glass is to magnify the object. All right. So it should be it should look bigger. So this now is a DI of I'm just going to write 15 centimeters in here. I'm not necessarily going to put the negative because I'm just giving you the magnitude here. The DO was uh, was five centimeters. All right. Um, and uh, and yeah. All right. So that takes care of a uh, letter. Letter A, I think, right? All right, letter A. So, was it? No, that does not take care of letter A. That's why you always go back and read it. So, what is the focal length? So, I have to find uh, DI in order to be able uh, to find then the focal length. All right, and the reason why is because now um, I know I have a formula for the thin lens. It says 1 over DO plus 1 over DI is equal to now 1 over F, meaning... 1 divided by the object distance plus 1 divided by the image distance is equal to 1 divided by the focal length. So if I want to solve this for focal length, right, just simply cross multiply some of the terms. And boom, that's how quick it is. All right, there's your focal length formula. All right, and let me just clean this up. This is over 1, okay. Or excuse me, this is under 1, basically. So then I just plug in the numbers, right? The object distance here, one divided by the object distance, we said is five centimeters. You can, again, use centimeters, be careful. All right, you're gonna get a focal length in centimeters. Uh, plus then now, um, the image. Now the image is negative 15, right? So it's one over negative 15 centimeters, okay? And simply just throw this on into the calculator. So it's one divided by five minus basically one divided by 15 and then do that's point um, one three three right it's positive and then do one divided by that value so it works out to be 7.5 7.5 what 7.50 centimeters because those are the units I used so that's the focal length okay um, so that that now takes care of letter A letter B calculate the power in diopters so power is a very simple equation so this is letter B, power is right over here. It's just literally the inverse of the focal length. So power will be equal to one divided by the focal length, but the focal length has to be in meters, okay? Because diopters is basically a capital D and that is equal to one over meter. Those are the units. So if you plug this in and you just go about your bit, you're, it's wrong, all right? So you gotta be careful about this. That's kind of why I always usually like to convert to the same, like always meters. Because no matter what, you know, it'll it'll be right. Uh, but sometimes, again, maybe more conversions might lead to more chance for error or greater chance for error. Um, you know, but you got to you got to be careful here. 
So anyway, this works out to be 0 0.075. And that's now the power in diopters. So divide so one divided by 0 0.075. So that's about 13 13.3 diopters. All right. And that's B. And then C. Discuss how this power compares to those for store bought reading glasses typically. Uh, okay, it's it, 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 the is the magnifier's power greater? Um, let's see, 13 comparing it to these. Hmm. I'm not sure. What do you think? Um, yeah, and should it, I, I don't know. What are, we, what are we analyzing the, uh, the glasses in Walgreens here? Anyway, <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I am losing my mind. Um, yeah, yeah. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I appreciate it very much. Um, if you can, give us a hand. We're really trying to put out as much as we can while uh, still staying sane. Um, yeah, like, subscribe. We'll see you soon. Bye.